guys it's psychic medium queen coming in with another video and you know what you guys have spoken so you got it you requested kenya moore and mark daly and i have to be honest with you guys i'm surprised because i i actually for two reasons number one spirit had put this on my heart to do a long time ago so it's actually spirit's confirmation through you all that it's meant for me to do this video for more than just the reasons that it gave it to me originally because i actually had did a video and it actually ended up getting trash i'm not going to lie to you guys i did it before the the last premiere came out and a lot of the things that happened in the the um show spirit had already given to me because I, I was just like but i feel like anybody can just you don't have to be psychic to see and know what's going on with this relationship so i felt like oh maybe i shouldn't do it but you guys affirmed that it needs to be done because you know my heart is for women and men and i've been geared towards relationships here lately so you know with that we're going to ask spirit to come in and see um what else can be given to me i can tell you guys off the rip that spirit gave to me that mark daly he's exactly what you see i know that that on tv they try to make it like you know well you guys edited it this way but really it's not that way um oh i feel so much anxiety with that man i have to tell you that he is a narcissist he suffers from npd that man has narcissistic personality disorder if you don't know what that is a narcissist to make it plain is somebody who mirrors your um they mirror who you are as a good person back to you to make you believe they are somebody that they are not. And once they get your, once they get your trust, once they get your faith, once they have your love, they show you their real face. And once they start that, what happens with you is you have been misguided and manipulated into believing this person was somebody that they weren't. So you stay around hoping that you, that man that you fell in love with comes back and there starts the manipulation. There starts the um, abuse. And I saw in my vision, I saw abuse, unfortunately. And when I say abuse, I mean like when I see blood in my vision, that means that there is some kind of abuse going on, be it um, uh, in, in, in many ways. But I feel like with this situation, this is emotional abuse. We see that clearly with our eyes that this woman is being abused, uh, Kenya Moore. And I know that that comes as a surprise to some people. Um, a spirit is already here, but before I continue talking, I want I want spirit to delve even deeper than what it did before. So spirit, I ask that you come into the room even deeper than you were last time and give some messages because the people who are going to see this are the people who are watching this video and those are the people who need it. So spirit and the highest of the high, my angels, my guides, I ask you guys to come here full force and I want you to go to work like never before because I want women and men to be set free from this very thing that's going on in this society right now. So spirit, we ask that you come and take, oh, oh, I feel it. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm a little different today. The energy is a little different in a good way. Um, I'm, I got chills. Somebody else got chills watching this video. If that's you... I want you to comment below because I feel somebody I feel somebody feeling it before it's even going. So with with Mark Daly, he's exactly who you see. Exactly who you see. That man is a narcissist. Um, I also felt like there's some fire in his chart. So this man, a, a man who has fire like him, who is a, a, is a narcissist at the same time, that's a bad combination because he's all about control. He's all about himself. Um, and we haven't even gotten to the cards yet, you guys. But I'm just talking to y'all. So just put the phone down if you want to, get some popcorn, whatever you want to do. Um, but he's all about control, you see. And you got to understand, Kenya is not who you guys see on the TV. You know, and this was confirmed by Eva Marcel on the Wendy Williams show. She's not who you guys see on television, but she's okay with being the villain because she gets paid to be. But this woman is a woman who is submissive. She really, I'm gonna tell y'all why she got married. Kenya Moore got married in the first place because she felt like her time was running out. This is a woman who's almost 50, you know, and she's like, you know what? I got a miracle baby and now I need a miracle relationship and I need to put this out and I, 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 want, my, I want my happy ever after. I want my happy ending. I, also in the cards that I had gotten originally, it showed me that if there is going to be a divorce, she still doesn't want to do it. But I, I didn't see it ending well. But we're going to tap into the energies now and see what's going on with the situation. I also got that Mark has some fire in his chart. If somebody can let me know what his zodiac sign is. I feel like he's an Aries or I'm feeling Leo more than Aries. But he's in the fire family. I know that. Okay. Um, this is just all little tidbits that I was given throughout my um, original reading with this. So we're going to use... 
Now you guys know, for those of you who are new to my channel, let me say that. Um, I know I'm like five minutes in, but welcome to the channel. If um, you are new and you enjoy this, please feel free to hit the bell um, so you're notified whenever I upload a new reading. Now for those of you guys who are new to me, I do not use cards in the traditional sense because I don't read pamphlets and stuff. I'm a naturally gifted um, psychic medium. So I use the cards uh, for spirit to tell a story. That's it. So with that, we're going to get on to it here. Woo! Thank you guys for participating. So we're going to use the Steve Pontero cards and we're going to use the Lover's Oracle. All right. And we'll use some other things. For messages i don't know and i don't know how long this is gonna be so make sure you have some snacks okay all right spirit what's going to happen with this relationship moving forward we know that king Moore really doesn't want this to end she wants her relationship and her marriage to work despite this man being a narcissist despite this man showing her who he really is it, but that's that's a hard thing to do once you start getting abused and you're used to the, the love you have for this person it's hard to let go it really is so um Let's see. Okay, so right in into it here, I'm getting that there are going to be some good times. They're going to be some good times, but they're going to be very temporary here. There's going to seem like it's going to be a union, and it's going to seem like the clouds have cleared for this relationship to take off and be better. And I see in Kenya Moore, we know he, she has dogs, right? I think she got a couple of them or something like that. And it looks like that is going to work out for a little bit. There is going to be some more fighting here. There's going to be some more fighting here. And I see that there's more people involved. And there's more people involved because like originally Spirit had given to me, Mark is, in fact, he has other women. There is another woman. That's another reason why he treats her like that. Anytime a narcissist gets a new supply, he starts to um, abuse the, the supply he's trying to get rid of because he wants them to walk away themselves instead of him having to do the very dirty work. Because the thing about a narcissist is they never give you closure. They never give you closure because they feel like um, exes are fair game and they keep the, or, the door partially open so that if their supply, their new supply doesn't work out, they want to go back and pull from the old supply. But they'll try to discard you um, by having you discard yourself by treating you poorly. You see what I'm saying here? So there's definitely other women in this. There's definitely other women and I'm feeling like, I don't know why I'm feeling like other men too. Or may he might try to say that. So, and I know King and Moore's heart, Three of Swords in the traditional context is never a good card, never a good omen to get. Her heart is broken. Oh, it's broken here. Because the love they had in the beginning, they had good love, they had good sex. It was, everything was good. And that's another way he kind of got her too. And, I, and that's another thing. Thank you, Spirit, for reminding me of this. I saw in my vision, uh, as I just did a meditation and I saw some new stuff come up. And I saw when they originally got together, there was light and dark. King of Moore and Mark Daly are very much yin, yin and yang, light and dark. But I feel like Kinga is starting to become a, a lot more dark because of the, the darkness she's being exposed to through Mark here. Um, this, what kind, of, um, what kind of union is this, Spirit? It's not twin flames. It's not. She felt like this was her soulmate. She felt like this was her soulmate in the beginning. She thought she was getting something else. And Kenya used to be a woman of vision. She used to be able to see, see clearer, clearer in this situation. This is upside down. So that means her vision is very cloudy right now for her to be such a, a strong woman. And this is another thing. Kenya is being super deceived because Mark, I saw green and that, that usually means jealousy. Mark is jealous of her. This is a woman who is self-made. She was what? What was she miss? If you get it wrong, she get mad at you. What was she miss universe? I don't know what she was. She was that or she was something else. She wants something, but she did that. She has all her businesses. He means to break her down. I'm gonna break this one down, man. She a little too hot for me. Like she, and, and you see how she she caters to his needs. Like I understand being a good wife. I understand being a great wife, going above and beyond for your man. But you can dress yourself, sir. You know, like it's 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 team too much. And this man is a man that gives off this illusion. In this sense, this is a man that's well dressed. He gives off this illusion. But what people, the thing about a narcissist is, they might look good. 
but they don't feel good. They feel the very opposite. And what makes them feel better about themselves is tearing you apart. He is tearing Kenya Moore apart. There's going to be an offering. There's going to be an offering, but it's going to be temporary here, I'm feeling like. It's going to be temporary, and I feel like it's coming from her. Because I see the woman's hand here, and I see him receiving it. She's trying to force this because she's in love with somebody who she, who, who she believes him to be. All right, let's let's uh, get some more cards of context here because, woo. All right. Ooh, wow. Okay. Wow. Kenya has been, she used to, and I feel like still is. Anytime you see a reversal, that means that um, for, in some instances that it used to. But she was crying herself to sleep, but she still is at the same time. Like this is a used to and it is. I feel like there was a period of rest, but this woman is struggling and suffering with this. She didn't want to show this on TV, I don't even think. She doesn't want these girls, you know, at, in NeNe leagues and all them. And even, and all of them are friends just for TV. They're not real friends in real life. Um, I feel like her and Cynthia are a little bit, but nobody's like really, 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 really close is what I'm saying. And people want to see her suffer because they look at her as the villain. I want to see her suffer. She's evil. She's nasty. Yeah. Good editing on her part. And yeah, King has got a mouth on her, you know, but, um, she's been suffering with this, struggling with this. This is the lover's card in, hmm, I'm getting this both ways. I'm getting, because originally they were together, they're like night and day here. You know, he has his businesses, she has her businesses, and he thought he was coming together with somebody who was similar to him. Because I think he, 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 he was hoping to marry the persona of her. But I feel like this man is jealous of his own wife. I really do. I feel like he wants to see her lose. I don't feel like he wants to see her win. And keep her in her place. Why do you guys think that he... I mean, these are things that I feel like you guys can see. So it's really confirmation for you guys. Because I feel like you guys know. Because if you're watching me, you got to be women and men of vision. So you guys you guys can go deep too. So I'm feeling like there was love here. It was deceptive. She thought it was real love. But there was lo it was love here on her part. That's why it says that. But now not so much. But she's still holding his hand, even in this, even in this. So, and I felt like there were a lot of fights, a whole lot of fights behind closed doors. You guys did not see. You think you saw something on TV? That ain't nothing compared to the darts that were flying in this household. She, she, they had good times in the beginning, in the very beginning. Oh, everything was good. You know, Spirit, I want you to go a little deeper. I want you to give some, can we get some predictions about what's coming Okay, Spirit said, no, I'm going to give you more than that. Because this is for you guys, okay? Because I want you guys to walk away with something from this. And please do let me know in the comment section um, how you guys are feeling about this and her situation and if this resonates as well. Okay, okay. Whoo! Okay, some cards came right back out. So Spirit is emphasizing the good times. They're, they're going to last for a little while here. They're going to last for a little while. But those that storms and those clouds are not done clearing. This woman of vision is coming up in the... In the um, there are some times ahead. I feel like... I wonder if Kenya went and got a reading or something. The Spirit is telling me that they wanted to work on this. They both did at one point. And I think it wants me to work on this with you guys, if that makes any sense. If anybody out there is encountering a situation like this, I want you to contact me. No, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. And I will just say this. I have been there. In order to experience what real love is, you have to encounter what love is not. So trust me when I say my 22 years of experience come from exactly that experience. So if somebody is going through this, please do not delay. Reach out to me immediately. I'm going to leave that there. Okay.
um, the devil card. I'm getting that this was, you guys know that I'm always, I'm about that powers that be thing. This was instructed some kind of way here. So I'm really feeling like he does not love this woman the way she loves him. And I feel like she's, she's thrown at her guard as well. The balance is completely off. She gives way more. You see these jewels here? She gives way more than Mark Daly ever will. And he gave his little piece. She does more around the house. She does more for the businesses. She does more for him than he will ever do for her. This woman is a queen and she's forgotten that. She's also a woman of vision and she's forgotten that. You know, and people around her who want to see her fail are happy with this. Especially people like, I, I, I hate to bring her up, but it's the truth. You see that with our naked eye, Nene Leaks. The, she, oh, she loved this. Oh, she getting a kick out of this. Because she feels like Kenya should pay for whatever she's done to other people. Yeah, there. yes, karma gets us all. But nobody deserves to be abused. I would never, ever, you know, say that that's okay. Like, because nobody deserves that. You reap what you sow for sure, but nobody deserves that. And dare I even say, I feel like there have been some grabbing of her, some putting hands on. I'm not saying he's beating her, beating her, but that's that's abuse of any kind of touching is not okay. And I feel like he's done. I feel like he's done that with her. I'm just, I'm just, I'm giving it to y'all. What's being given to me? I'm not telling you. I, I have to say. I guess I have to say allegedly legal purposes you know but i feel like that's what what's happened here i'm gonna do um one more round here get into some uh, hopefully some protective things that's coming up um and then we're gonna get some messages i know the last time i got ten of swords the next that's that's an ending that's a defeat and i felt like that was um because if this goes to the point that it can that they would go to court and um it, she wouldn't want to, but she come out on top. Oh, look at this. I got three cards. Now this is about, I got three cards with women, but I'm feeling like this one right here is, is about Kenya being left out in the cold. Everybody thinks this woman is so evil. And let me just say like, I'm, I don't have a dog in this race. When it comes to spirit, I speak what, what is given to me. I don't have favorites. Um, so she's she's going to be left out in the cold with this. She's feeling like that already. And Mark, you know what he's doing? He's taking a peer to rest. He's like, whatever, I'm chilling. I don't care. There's no emotions here. The person that he he portrayed himself to be, that, that, that mask has fallen. It's even fallen to the public because you guys even see it. Okay? This man wants control. I feel like somebody else is involved here. Some kind of man, some other man is involved here. I don't know who. But somebody else is involved here too. And um I I feel like this is I feel like this is Kenya, like she's on the watch with this. She's feeling like she almost has to be robotic. Um, but I'm also feeling other women. This woman knows about Kenya too and does not care. And you know, we, we already saw that in the last episode. And like this was given to me before I saw it, but you know, you guys, I'm so mad that I disregarded that but anyway well discarded it rather not disregarded it but um he's definitely he's definitely got him a new supply and i don't really feel like she's a woman of color this man this man has supplies okay spirit says it has more to say so i'm gonna shuffle some more cards here you guys make sure you're watching out for your heart watch out for that heart make people earn your love you hear me make them earn you you understand there's nothing wrong with being picky i and the reason why you have to be picky this day and age is because people will take you for a ride people will suck you dry if you let them they just want what you will give them and if you will give them the goodies if you will give them the milk and cookies if you will give them you before they even have to work for it what's the use in work for it as old folks used to say as mommy used to say you know why buy the cow when you can have the milk for free and in this instance and i'm talking i'm just talking to y'all for a second 
But let's, uh, I'm speaking to somebody out here. Some of y'all, y'all feel me. All right. Okay, this has happened twice, so that's confirmation. I need to say this. Um, some of these cards keep repeating. Oh, sh yep. Spirit has told me the powers that be are involved in this situation because anytime I get this guy, that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. The powers that be are involved in this. And there have been, there have been messages that have been ignored. Can you, I feel like she was, somebody saw through his junk. And I want to say her auntie because he's not, she's not close to her mother. So I want to say her aunt because her aunt is very honest with her. I haven't seen her in any shows, I mean, any, um, episodes for like years now but i feel like she's still very much in touch with her and that's one of the people that's not happy about this there's going to be more tower moments coming in you guys might see that um in an episode probably in the next episode or in the coming episodes there's going to be definitely tower moments or even probably not even on tv but they're coming they're coming today is saturday um i want to say it's the 14th and then tomorrow, I'm going to post this hopefully before the premiere. I, I haven't checked to see when the next show is coming on. But I know that I'm on PST. So it, it comes on 8 o'clock my time. And I don't usually watch the show until about, you know, midweek. But anyway, there's going to be more tower moments coming here, you guys. For sure. There's also going to be some coming back around. But that was gonna, that's going to be before the tower moments here. Now, Spirit, why are you having this come back up? Because what am I, what is having me go back over it here? you guys see okay i guess it wants me to point this out to you you guys see the feather here you see the feather and you see the jewels this woman brings substance to this relationship believe it or not yes kenya she brings substance to this relationship you guys see what kind of wife she is that's real that is not fake it is real and he's bringing her a feather this man has gone 90 percent of the time i want to say he has gone out of the, the country out of the state wherever he's traveling to for his businesses He's gone and he's cheating and he's stepping out and he's being dishonest and being unavailable to this woman. And she's over here offering everything, staying faithful, taking care of their child, being a wife and a mother. It's messed up. And you know what he's doing? Taking advantage and puppeteering the heck out of her. Dance for me is what I get here. Like, do what I will. Do what I want you to do. Uh -huh. And you know what? Kenya is going... Either she's already getting to this place or she's at this place where she's still offering that hand, but she's being on guard because this is, this will change you. This kind of pain she's being put through, through a narcissist. You guys take the time, whoever will, who wants to know what this is, who's dealing with a similar situation, please educate yourself on narcissism. If you don't want to educate yourself, please come to me because I can give you some tools um, to navigate this. But I will tell you at the top of it all, I would never encourage a woman to stay in this. I would tell her to run the heck away as fast as you can because people who don't survive narcissists, they, um, they, they have deep emotional wounds. Deep emotional wounds. And I've seen people check out of here. I'm just going to be honest with you because of the pain that narcissists cause. Narcissists are sociopaths. They have no ability to feel. I know I'm repeating myself, but I have to emphasize that. And for somebody who this is for, you get it. He's not only leaving her, 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 he's not only leaving her out in the cold, he's left out many other women. He has discarded many women, many divorces. I'm feeling here. You know, this man has been with many women and it hasn't worked. That should have been a red flag for Kenya right there. This is why this red, these red, uh, what is this? Curtains are here. She didn't look at the red flag. She looked over them because she just wanted to be loved. And she's going to be left out in the cold just like everybody else for another woman and he's actually attracted to women who have that kind of uh disposition that kenya gives off on the show he likes that because he's a nasty person himself all right i'm just I, you know giving it to y'all like it's given to me all right this i don't know how long this is gonna be but spirit said it got more i'm just gonna go with it take breaks if y'all need to Get some water, <laughs> some popcorn. All right, all right. This yeah, this great. All right. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, that's interesting. 
Okay. You guys remember how Mark was saying that he hated it? He hated um he hated being uh married. This man really running around acting like he is really wounded. Acting like it's it's really Kenya. And spirit is, is here with this. It it's 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 it could be believe it or not, this could be worse. Spirit is protecting her some way. Somebody praying for Kenya somewhere for real. But he walking around acting like he wounded, like it's him that she's doing this to. Anybody with naked eyes can see that the situation, this is this man. And I'm telling y'all, it's not just editing. I'm telling y'all what I feel and what spirit is giving me. And it's this man. But he walking around acting like, you know, she done done something to him. And she's also very wounded. But hers is real. You know, this keeps coming back up and, and, and spirit has me zeroing in on these hands on this evilness. It just, it just, it wants me to really just put across how this man is, is almost morphing into the demon and to the monster that he really is right before her eyes. And she can't even believe it. I don't know. Did somebody put him up to this? Like to be with her? Like, because I feel like he came from out of nowhere. <clears throat> He came from out of nowhere and he worked her. He worked her and her strength. This woman, this like fierce woman that she is, is starting to break down. I almost, I almost feel like she has a cape on here, like superhero, like, and her cape, she done surrendered her cape and she done surrendered her, her, her weaponry here. All for love in the name of love. There have been messages. And so that's the confirmation about the, um, <clears throat> excuse me there have been messages already that she's seen from other women here and i feel like he tried to accuse her of cheating because i'm looking i'm feel, i'm seeing this man here with um messages i feel like he tried to accuse her of cheating here and there's another woman in the background fixing it up to make her look bad mm, i'm feeling like that's nini here she wanna she we already know that she want to make her look bad this can go on and on and on there's so much to be said about this you guys if you guys want a part two and i've never said that before feel free to let me know in the comment comment section below and i'm only gonna do a part two if you guys are watching <laughs> you know so take breaks if you need to wow mm. I cannot make this up. This is I do this in real time, you guys. So my reactions are that. I have to say that because people are like, why do you say wow? That's why. <laughs> this is the card that I pulled at the end of the reading, the first, the initial time that I had did it. If this goes to court, Mark is losing. Period. And Ken is Ken, Ken is funny. Ken, wow. Guess what he calls her? Kenya Moore is walking away with she's walking away with money, but she's also walking, walking away with broken heart. This is going to be total destruction. Total total annihilation is what I'm feeling. This is going to be nothing but darkness for the both of them. Because you have a woman who wanted love. And she jumped into this very fast. Like I said, always always take three to four months to get to know the person. And before you reveal any all the pieces of who you are. Because trust me when I say a narcissist will never show you who he really is. Because if he showed you who he really is, it would be a child. And you will walk away automatically. A strong woman would entertain that because a narcissist dresses himself up in a way that he looks like he has it all together. He's the ultimate renaissance man. This man is this. Broken. Defeated. That's what he is. I'm feeling like she's going to have, I'm feeling like this is uh, Cynthia, um, around her. Being her woman of vision. Being her guy. Being her support. And I know Candy has been there, but I don't feel like Candy really has any like real so you're like she's not real cool with everybody as much as she try to she candy do what she got to do to make her money okay and if you guys want to hear um about candy and todd you know feel free to comment below i know i didn't put that in the poll but um if you guys want to hear about that let me know all right we're gonna slide one more time and we're gonna get some um we're gonna get some cards of context as far as messages go for this this relationship we already know we already know where it's headed. I'm gonna do this again because I want to make sure. Wow. 
or uh, should there be a divorce, spirit is going to introduce a new man to this woman, some new opportunities. And Kenya, okay, this is it. Wow. Mm -hmm. This card came up just like it did last time. Third party. So this is confirmation of what I was saying earlier. There are definitely other women in this situation. And Spirit is saying when after the divorce, when it comes, if it comes, Kenya's going to feel left out in the cold with her baby. She is going to feel left out in the cold. She is not going to trust a man like she did before to guide her. And there it won't be renewal if she can't let go of the pain. But spirit will introduce other players. They will be similar as far as the night and day. Um, but it's going to be harder for her to trust. She's going to be on guard here. Because she is not doing her work. She's going to have to do her work. In order for that newness to come in. This third party situation is out of control. I'm really feeling like this woman is not a woman of color. Whoever this is. Not that that is important. But I'm just saying. She's not a woman of color. And it's multiple women here. That he's entertaining. We're going to get some messages here. And then we're going to leave it. And then if you guys want a part two. Feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you got everything you needed to know. Let me know that as well. And we just won't. We won't continue to cover this. But you guys requested it. And it also was on my heart. So it was meant to be. And I hope the messages in here have helped somebody else that is struggling in their relationships because my heart is so for you guys when it comes to that. So for you guys. Okay. So let's go to the love as a oracle. Wow. Automatically come. This is confirmation of what I was just telling you guys. Trust. Let me let you guys see the picture. Trust here is going to be so important. Should she release this like she should, the new relationships that's, the new relationship that's going to come in is going to require trust. Something that Kenya is not going to have right away. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And that means once she accepts this is not the situation that she should be in, it will transform. It will get better. But she's going to have to do some work. All the pain that's been caused to her, she's going to have to sift through that and really like go within herself and work on that shadow work. And that's not going to be easy. Once she accepts that this current situation is not for her, a better man will come in for her. But I think Kenya doubts that. I think she feels like this is her last chance. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Can this relationship be saved? I would say maybe, but not with a narcissist. But narcissists, unlike sociopaths, can heal. So maybe, maybe. Would I encourage it? No, because I mean, I never tell my clients personally what to choose, but I'm saying, I mean, this is Kenya. I don't think she'll ever watch this, but um, I would encourage if let's just, let's just entertain it. If I was talking to Kenya, I would tell her to do her healing, make him do his healing for real, which would take a whole lot of work and it may take years before they even tried. But after you put me through what he put me through, in a way. I, w I would I would really try my best to escape and get on out of there because narcissists do some irreparable damage, it feels like. I'm so serious. So it's like, mm, but I feel like this is talking about her the new relationship that will come in. There'll be criticism and that will lead to unhappiness. She would need to trust. And the only way she's going to trust is if she heals. So there's that. Close your eyes and let you guys see the picture. Mm. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So it's just telling Kenya here that you can be happy, beloved. You can be happy and feel joy regardless of what you've been through. What you, what you currently find yourself in, you still can find happiness. And she has that beautiful little girl that she's got to set the example for. You know, she can be happy despite, she can be happy without a man. Hey, you see this woman hugging this tree? She could be happy without him. And this is a little bit of nudity, so. <laughs> um, yeah, but she could be happy without him. She needs to look a while, spirit. Oof. 
Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. This is a thing that we, we women and men that are loving, that are empathetic, that ha we have to ask ourselves, what is it in me that allowed this? What is it after I found out who this man is? What is it in me that's continuing? And for Kenya, I feel like it's because of the desolation she thinks she would feel if she didn't have a man in her life. The feeling incomplete. So she allows certain things. You need to examine those areas of your life and you need to do away with those. You need to dust them, clear them completely here. Do away with them. She needs to examine that. Yeah. And heal, the, and heal those places. A message for you. This is what a narcissist would tell you. I got this into my last video. <laughs> this is for the narcissist that um, they have their own, that's their way of loving. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So it's like there is love, but it's, it, it's, it's a um, dysfunctional kind of love that narcissists have because they don't really know how to love. They just reflect back to you what you give to them. They give you their version of love, which is, is tied to something that you do for them. Ah, yes. So it's like he thinks about all the things she does for him and that's what he would miss. What you do for me. Yeah, it's about it's about me. Sadly, we're gonna take a few from my guidance oracle, and we're gonna end this. Thank you so much, Spirit, for coming into the room today and uh, giving us these messages. I'm hopeful that they touch somebody right now that needs it. That's going through this because so many women and men can relate to this. And, you know, relationships that are bad, are the they show you, they're, they're there for a purpose because they're there to teach you what it is you don't want and need through a person. That, But you have to learn that lesson. And some people don't learn the lesson. They just stay in it. I'm just going to stay in this because I feel like this is all I can get. Anybody else going to want me because I done gained a few pounds? Anybody going to want me because I'm older? You don't know. Somebody out there waiting on you that want all that. They want all the smoke. They want you with your imperfections woman man they want you you understand there's so many people out here that's looking for love that's just waiting on you they waiting on their turn you understand i know somebody who was married for 30 years to the wrong person that person died and they met their significant other the one they were supposed to be with and that was just waiting on them you guys this stuff happens all day long it's possible but what's needed right now from kenya some quiet time Take some t quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. She needs to take some time to get in those areas and heal. That's what she really needs to do. She needs to be by herself. Get the baby a babysitter or something. and just Or, or whenever the baby sleeps, take some time in the morning or at night and really just meditate. Be quiet. That's what Spirit is calling her to do so she can do that work. Diana, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target. And you will make your mark. She needs to focus her intentions. Spirit is telling me to tell you guys this. This is for y'all. Um, when you want something in this life, you have to focus your intention. So if you want a particular kind of man to come into your life, yes, it's beautiful if they look good, but that shouldn't be the only thing you're looking for. And, and real us grown folks, we ain't all we we know that's not all we're looking for. But I'm talking about somebody who's 18, 20 something, you know, because I feel like we really don't really start to grow into who we really are going to be until we hit 30, you know, cause 25 is when you start to really realize, um, who you are and start making, um, better decisions. All right. But you have to keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and, and you will make your mark. So make it set your intentions and make them straight is what I'm saying here. Y'all make sure you're at, you're telling spirit exactly what it is that you want in a mate and don't flex on that. I'm not saying, Y'all be picky in the way of, you know, this man got to make this much money a year and he got to look that. Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about he needs to be loving to me. He needs to speak to my heart. He needs to caress me in that way. A man that touches my mind, body, soul, and spirit. Huh? I need that. Right. And yes, if he's beautiful, that's just, you know, that's awesome to boot. But look shouldn't be at the top of the key. He needs to bring so much more. And you know what? Even with that, because looks can get you in trouble. That man, like Kenya Moores, 
can be looks and look so good and then be so broken and torn down inside that if you if you saw the real him if you saw him turn inside out you run away make sure that his body matches his soul mm. i can say so much more than but y'all y'all feel me i feel like y'all feel me compassion release judgments about yourself she does not have to forgive herself for allowing this in her life and others who've had something to say because right now she needs support she, kenya can be real shady but this right here no woman deserves no man deserves um and focus on the love and light that is within you, within everyone. This is going to change her. I think you guys will start to see more of the real Kenya Moore come forward because of what's been happening to her. You guys are going to get to see the real her. This is going to make her go within. This is going to, this should make her balance. It should make her start to become more spiritual. You know, sometimes it takes for something unfortunate to happen to us for us to step into our growth because we have to process now the pain that has happened. There is purpose in pain. It really is. And um, this, if she survives it, and I know she's strong enough to do it, will cause this to come in, this compassion for others. And it actually is already happening. I'm being reminded by what happened in the last episode, her talking to um, the uh, the young lady she called a, you know what, um, that was genuine. It really did come from a genuine place, y'all. It wasn't just for TV. I don't feel like she does everything for TV, but she does a lot for TV. Um, but anyway, we're going to end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you want a part two on this, feel free to let me know. I feel like there's going to be a part two, as Fred is saying. But I want to um, hear from you guys to confirm that if you want it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this situation. Let me know for those of you guys who feel comfortable enough to share your stories with me. I, it's, it's not just me that will see it. It's other women and men that will see it. And I feel like it's going to bless somebody. So please, if you are comfortable in who you are, especially if you don't have a picture on your name, let it flow free, please. Tell your stories so they can encourage another woman to step forward, encourage another woman to come out, encourage another man to come out and step forward to speak because they, it happens to them too. So you guys be blessed. And on that, I say, I say to everything spirit said on today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Blessings.